Hello my darlings, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome my dear. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell also. Follow me on Instagram, of course, where we have a lot of fun. Okay guys, so as you can see from the title, we are gonna talk about gorgeous yet affordable perfumes. These are my favorite affordable perfumes from my collection. Um, of course, something being affordable is very, very relative to all of us. Uh, however, I try to pick my favorites that are up to $50, so to speak, maybe even $40. So let's go ahead and jump right in. And before I move on to fragrances, I want to share with you something that's super affordable, yet super chic and super, super classy, because this channel is all about being classy, isn't it? Um, so a gorgeous, gorgeous brand reached out to me recently, and I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to share it to my audience, because you always, like always, ask me about my jewelry. And uh, this time, I finally have a chance to show you and link for you the jewelry that I'm wearing because usually I'm wearing something that's vintage or it was gifted. Uh, I also uh, wear mostly gold, like 99% of my jewelry is gold and it, as I said, it was usually gifted or I got it during my travels somewhere abroad so I cannot link it. Um, so this is just amazing because I absolutely love the jewelry and they're so affordable and the quality is so gorgeous. So I'm going to start uh, with these earrings. Uh, these actually I got from the website myself. Uh, they did send me a few pieces, uh, but most of them I got myself. This is how much I love them. And uh, these really remind me of Misoma earrings. If you know the brand Misoma, they're like very nice and super, super trendy jewelry. And these really, really remind me of them, uh, except from the fact that these are better quality and better price. So like, you cannot go wrong with these. So these are very chunky um, and I really, really, really wanted to get such earrings. I feel like they really suit the vibe when my hair is short and I just have white t-shirt on. I love it. And I also got this snake chain that I also was looking for everywhere. And these two little pendants that actually came together. It's like a little cross and a little medallion. I really, really, really like it. Also, I got this ring, which is super chunky and it really suits all my other earrings. Earrings? No, rings. <laughs> um, so here I have the Cotier one and um, this one is vintage, this one is vintage and this one is from Happiness Boutique. And yeah, and my bracelets are mm, gifted, so I cannot link them. Also, I got these cute, 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 cute huggy earrings. If you don't know already, I absolutely huggy earrings. I have um, two of them in each ear and then I have these chunky ones. And these actually have colorful stones. I hope you can see it. I'm gonna insert a picture uh, anyways, but they're super, super cute and I'm, I cannot wait to rock them. So, uh, their pieces are either sterling silver and gold plated or they are uh, stainless steel, the precious steel, gold plated. And I went for, except from these tiny huggies, which are sterling silver, I went for the stainless steel gold plated because that means you can shower in it, you don't have to take it off, which was super important to me because I don't like taking off my jewelry. The only thing I do take off at night when I shower are the rings because I don't sleep in my rings and I switch them up every single day if I wear any. So that's the only thing I do take off, but the rest, like the necklaces, the bracelets, I always wear gold and I really couldn't find anything that would be affordable but still have that quality of gold. You mean, I mean like um, you could shower with it and it wouldn't tarnish, it wouldn't get like that nasty um, tarnish color to it. These are perfect. These will not do that and these earrings, I cannot stop staring at them. They're so cool. 
so so cool i love them uh as well as all the other pieces so i will link everything down below i also have a discount code for you guys so if you're interested check it out also, what's the most important and completely sold me on all the pieces and the whole brand is that with every single purchase, no matter what you purchase, you, thanks to your purchase, you plant a tree, which is super important because I'm very, very eco-conscious and this is very, very important thing um, that the brand does. Okay, guys, so I took it all off just to quickly show you how they all look up close. So let's start with the packaging. These are the boxes that the jewelry comes in, which is absolutely beautiful. Let's start with the chain. So this snake chain is something I've been looking to get for the longest time, but um, the solid gold ones are extremely expensive. And this one is stainless steel gold plated, so it will not tarnish. You can shower with it, which is amazing for me. I love to swim and shower with my jewelry. So this is a snake chain. Then we have this little pendant right here and this actually came with the cross and this is the original chain that they came with together. They are also stainless steel gold plated and this one medallion I actually put on my golden chain so I have like two, you know, dangling of my neck and this is really really pretty as well as the cross. This is the ring that I'm wearing as a signet and it's actually heart shape which is super cute of course the chunky earrings they are absolutely beautiful uh they are quite heavy but i really don't mind because for the look of them they're just really really worth it i love them okay now don't mind my no makeup face i just want to show you the earrings up close so these are the huggies that I got from Happiness Boutique and you've been also asking me about these. These are actually bought somewhere in Poland. I don't even remember, uh, but these are rare gold. But uh, Happiness Boutique has exactly the same ones, so I'm going to link them below. Uh, they surely have these ones. These are unfortunately not to be found anywhere, but I will keep on trying. So yeah, this is how it looks up close. I hope you like it. Okay, that's it. Let's move on to the fragrances. Let me just have my tea. All right. First one, super great, super affordable. I mean, okay, I'll be honest. To me, it wasn't that affordable. I thought it would be way more affordable for what it is because it's a celebrity fragrance, but it's still in the affordable range, if you know what I mean, and it's a very good one. And this is none other than Ariana Grande Cloud. So you know what I think of it. If you haven't checked out my um, Baccarat Rouge dupes video, I'll put it up here. I love it. So this definitely has the Baccarat Rouge vibe, but it's more sweet and coconutty. It's like a cloud, literally. Like a, it's like a cloud of sweetness, but it has some edge to it, you know? It's quite interesting. It really, really does have that Baccarat Rouge note to it. Very distinctive. I really like wearing it. Uh, either for a night or during the daytime, I think it's gorgeous. And you can't really go wrong with it if you like Baccarat Rouge vibe and coconut. Because I get coconut a lot in here. They also put lavender in here, some pear. So it's a little bit more, as I said, sweet. A little bit more fruity. But it's more of a milky, like tonic kind of scent with the Baccarat Rouge vibe. Very, very good. Very interesting. But sweet. Definitely sweet. However, I do recommend checking it out. Uh, the other fragrance that's also very Baccarat Rouge-esque is by Al Haramein and this is Amber Oud Rouge. So this I will consider still an affordable perfume because uh, it's a great affordable dupe for a very very expensive fragrance that is Baccarat Rouge. So this one is just like Baccarat Rouge with added oud to it in my opinion. Uh, definitely more unisex than cloud, definitely. Uh, it's way stronger. Um, it's not as, you know, girly, sweet, like tonic. This is Baccarat Rouge with added wood to it. I love it. To me, it's a 90% of a similarity to Baccarat. Love it, love it, love it. The longevity is fantastic. Uh, in regards to Ariana Grande's cloud longevity, I would give it around six hours. This one is nine hours straight. Love it. And I really like the bottle. It's quite heavy though. 
Um, the other Al Haramein is the same range but a different fragrance and this one is a gorgeous dupe for Zerov Herba Pura and this is Al Haramein Amber Oud Gold. So this one is very, very strong, super strong. And guys, as much as I love strong fragrances, I gifted it to my boyfriend. That's how strong it is. And this is, again, Musky Oudi. I don't think they have Oud in their note structure, but I really get that, you know, um, Oriental Oudi Woody vibe. And it's very fruity. Beautiful. If you like Herba Pura, uh, you cannot go wrong with this one. This is a perfect, perfect opportunity to try Herba Pura if you haven't tried it yet. And the scent itself is amazing. Really, really good. It's quite strong on me, but on men, I love it. It's unisex though. It's unisex. Okay, so that's how Al Haramein. The next one I want to show you that is my oldie but a goodie. I absolutely adore the scent. And I think I have went through five bottles at least. And this is L'Imperatrice Trois by Dolce & Gabbana. And this is the anthology collection. As far as I know, they uh, got rid of every other fragrance from the range and only left this one in their stock. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think they also left 14, but I'm not too sure. Anyways, this one is sweet cocktail in a bottle. It's very aquatic, very refreshing. It has a lot of watermelon to it. Oh, it's just like a juicy watermelon juice. Juicy juice. Very great vocabulary, Paulina. Whatever. I love it. And on me, it really lasts for quite a while. I would say six hours plus. So for the old toilettes, you cannot go wrong with it again. I really like it in summertime and it's quite men appealing as well. So that's L'Imperatrice by Dolce & Gabbana. Okay, now the fragrance range that everybody talks about. And to be honest, I like them very much. Um, but they are not as inexpensive as I would feel like. They still do fall into the inexpensive, affordable category, but in my opinion, they could be a little bit more inexpensive, to be completely honest with you. And this is none other by but Be Layered. Uh, I really, really like their fragrances. They're perfectly blended, I must admit. Uh, I have here the Cherry Delight, which is my favorite, and First Kiss. So Cherry Delight is a perfect, like perfect dupe for Tom Ford Lost Cherry and First Kiss is a 90% dupe of the Lina by Parfums de Mali. Uh, this one is a little bit more fresh and not as sharp as the Lina. Don't get me wrong, it still has that sharpness, um, but the Lina has more nutmeg to it. I really love it though. Beautiful fragrance. So in my opinion, you cannot go wrong with Be Layered. Check them out. Very, very lovely and affordable. Beautiful fragrance dupes. And of course they have their own uh, single notes range that I haven't tried. I don't know if I ever will uh, because shipping to me took forever. So we'll see, we'll see. But if I'm very tempted, I might get some. All right, next one. Next one, next one, next one is from Elizabeth Arden. And this is White Tea. Guys, I, I just adore this fragrance. To be completely honest with you, I know I might sound completely ratchet, but I prefer this way, way, way over Narciso Rodriguez, the white one that I have. You know, the original Narciso. I like it more. It's white tea and musk. It's very clean, uh, quite unisex. Very, very clean fragrance. A little bit powdery, but it has that musky kick to it. I just adore it. I love wearing it on myself, but I also, I'll be honest, I love spraying it around the house because it smells so, so good. I want to sniff it all the time. So that's Elizabeth Arden. Like, the price and the quality is just the bomb. It doesn't stay as long on me, to be completely honest with you. I would say around four hours, but I think for the price, it's completely worth it. So yeah. Okay, now let's move on to another Dolce & Gabbana that I have. 
uh, I could choose even more of Dolce and Gabbana's, but these two are the most affordable from the whole perfume range that they have. And this one is such a winner, guys. This is such a winner. And you can find it online for a very, very good price. And this is Pool Farm. I know I've been raving about this in every second video, I feel like, but I love it. It's such a gorgeous marshmallow kind of scent with raspberry to it. Very vanilla, a little bit powdery, super feminine, not too sweet, but it's still quite sweet. Beautiful, beautiful. The longevity is exquisite on that. When I first saw the bottle, I felt like, you know, because it's transparent, maybe it gave me a feeling that it wouldn't be long lasting, but it's super long lasting. I get eight hours out of it. Uh, it's more closer to the skin, but it's fine. I love it. Gorgeous closing counter fragrance, if you know what I mean. Uh, if you like marshmallow, you're gonna love this one. Next, uh, another oldie but a goodie, and this is cheap as hell. <laughs> and uh, it's quite juvenile, I must admit, but it's still a great fragrance, and I feel like men really, really like it. And I used to rock it all the time when I was a teen. So this is Britney Spears Fantasy. And this is Eau de Parfum, yeah, this is Eau de Parfum. It has a lot of white chocolate to it, very fruity, quite airy, very playful, very joyful. If you are that kind of a innocent girl who likes to be girly and sweet, you know, all of us have these moments, all right? Even me. Go for this one. It's so, 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 so cute. Okay, next one. Versace. So from Versace, I feel like in general Versace has a very good pricing for their perfumes. And when you go online, you can find them very, very, very cheap. Uh, this, one, this one was no exception, and this one is hands down my favorite Versace fragrance for women. And this is Versace Crystal Noir. I have the Eau de Toilette one. There's really no difference between the Parfum Toilette. They really last the same amount. They have a good lasting power, I must admit. And this is Gardenia Amber. Um, it's very spicy, but yet quite fresh. There's coconut to it, peony, musk. Very interesting fragrance, uh, very complex. Uh, to some people, it might smell like a rotten uh, fruit ball. Because it does a little bit. But it's interesting and it's very sexy. And my man loves it too, so I like it too, okay? So that's Versace, Cristian Love. Love it. Okay, next one. You know I love uh, Federico Mahora. I've been working with the brand for a while now. And I love their Pure Royal range. And this is uh, 906. I always say that I love the 910, which is gorgeous Baccarat Rouge dupe, and I know so many of you got it and you love it so much as me, so that's great. And this is another recommendation from me. This is um, Tobacco Vanille dupe from Tom Ford. It's 906, I love it. Very strong, very potent, oriental, sweet, 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 sweet tobacco. Love it. A little bit spicy. It's just like tobacco vanille. So if you like it, get yourself this one um, so you don't have to splurge. I mean, if you want, you can do whatever you like, but this is a good juke. All right? Federico Mahora. Next one. Um, so this one was a love-hate relationship for me, I'll be honest, but I ended up loving it. And this is uh, Roberto Cavalli Gemma di Paradiso and I love the beginning. I love the beginning. It's potent, it's pear, it's vanilla, it's like no other. Uh, then it dries down to very much of a Carolina Herrera dry down, which I'm not a fan of, I must admit. I don't like Carolina Herrera at all, but this one is way better, way, way better. So. It, you know, to me, I have so many perfumes because, you know, it's kind of my job to review fragrances for you guys. So it's nice to have something in the vibe of Carolina Herrera, you know? Mm, but maybe not the actual Carolina Herrera because I will probably never buy that one. This one is way better. It has pear to it. 
so i highly recommend it and for the quality for the lasting power for the bottle which is so gorgeous so so gorgeous uh you cannot go wrong i love it i'm really gonna uh, I think I'm really going to try uh, the other from the range with that little ball, the Gemma one. Because um, there is Paradiso Azzurro, I think, the blue one. So I might try it. Let's see. But this one, good, good. Okay, three more to go, guys. Three more to go. I'm going to start with Zara. And um, it's not about the particular fragrance that I'm showing you. I mean, it is. I love it. But it's the whole range which are two fragrances <laughs> and this is Zara Tobacco Collection. I have Intense Dark Exclusive, of course they come in a two pack and I did have the OG Ritual Addictive, unfortunately my cleaning lady broke it. So I'm only with, left with this one but it let me explore it a little bit more. I love it. It's minty, uh, sweet, cardamom, woody fragrance. Beautiful really really good i'm actually gonna spray it my boyfriend loves it too he uses it quite often very long lasting this one beautiful fragrance i love the, the tobacco range from zara i'm surely gonna get one um that broke very very soon before i leave so yeah uh tobacco range from zara is very very good and you cannot go wrong with it no matter if you're a girl or a boy yeah and last two perfumes. So the first one uh, is from Swiss Arabian and this is Shahav Oud. So guys, you know I've been raving about it for so, so long. And this is a gorgeous, gorgeous dupe for Oud Bouquet by Lancôme. It's praline, uh, it's Oud, it's rose, it's sweet. Uh, yet very very potent super sexy super warm gorgeous for winter that is coming so I really really love it longevity is a beast and the other one the last one last but not least also from Swiss Arabian and this is my gem at the moment I really love it guys I really love it and this is Casablanca you guys have been raving about it and made me get it finally because you've been telling me to get it since the beginning of my channel literally and this is um, so good so affordable yet so good this is caramel apple with grapes that's what i get from it caramelly like literally like you had a fresh apple yeah you have a fresh apple peeled off and you put it into a hot caramel that's what it smells like that's what it smells like it's beautiful it's sugary caramel um with gorgeous fresh juicy apple i love it love it love it love it guys this is amazing amazing and for the price point you cannot go wrong again and the longevity is fantastic on this one. I get straight eight hours wearing it with a very good sillage. So that's with Arabian. From all the perfumes that I would really recommend you to try are the Swiss Arabian ones because they have such good pricing and they are blended so well. They have such an amazing range of fragrances. I do have more. Uh, however, um, the one that I have, uh, the Sera Shela is uh, a lot more expensive than the basic range, so I couldn't include that. But these two, absolutely fantastic. So I highly recommend you try them, especially if you like more oriental fragrances. This one is for my gourmet lovers as well. So yeah, that's that, guys. I think that's it. Um, I think I have quite a selection for you. Literally anyone can find something here and they're so affordable. You cannot go wrong with these and even the lasting power on them, literally on all of them is very, very, very good. So I highly recommend you check them out. Also check out the jewelry brand that I was talking about, the Happiness Boutique. They grow trees with every single purchase of yours. I will link every Thing down below 
along with the discount code. So please stay tuned for the next video, guys. I love you and see you guys in the next video. Bye.